Hello all, it's been a rough few weeks and hopefully I'll have time to get back to reviewing products. I have a whole list of scripts ready to be recorded, but for now I'm making this video to talk about a new attachment option for my holsters, and it'll also be linked in the item description of the listing. If you watch some of my other content, you know how much I don't like how some companies use extreme or edgy names for their stuff. So I'm just going to call this, drumroll please, the bow bracket or riser mounting bracket. It delivers what it promises, and its purpose is to bolt the holsters I make straight to your riser. So this listing on Etsy is for an aluminum bracket to attach one of my holsters to the riser of a bow, like so. The bracket is intended to bolt between the front and rear stabilizer bushings and a stabilizer quick disconnect or side mount. When attached to the front stabilizer bushing, depending on the location of it on your bow, this will put your holster right next to your grip and far out enough that you should still be able to use your side loading stabilizer quick disconnect. This one is out. Kind of a happy accident. I didn't mean to do that, but, uh, you know, just kind of worked out. The bracket is 3 16th inch 6061 aluminum because overkill is underrated and it is Cerakoted flat black. I've shot it on this bow and it does not make any additional noise because that bracket just soaks up all the energy from uh, any vibration from the bow. This bow is pretty quiet to begin with and I haven't heard any additional twang from, uh, from the uh, holster even with the release still in it because I switch back and forth. So um, as far as coloring goes, it is Cerakoted flat black. I will probably offer other colors in the future, probably flat dark earth and OD green, depending on how often they're requested, as well as how often my wife, who is doing the Cerakoting, is willing to do it. There are going to be two different versions available, and they are based on the hole spacing for the mounting posts. I'll probably make a single version at some point when I buy a mill and I'm able to make um, to actually do some machining. But right now I'm in um, I'm capable of drilling holes um, and not really able to do uh, any side uh, side milling or slotting. So the first version attaches to holsters set up for a standard one and a half inch or 1.75 inch belt clip, also the soft loops, but. These holsters have a hole spacing of 7 eighths of an inch or 0.875. The hardware that came with your holster will be used to attach the holster to the bracket, so with those you're not going to need anything extra, aside from a set of shorter rubber spacers that replace the spacers that came with your holster. Those are, uh, are thicker. Uh, these take up more space than the belt clip, about twice as much actually. So. Um, I need to, I'm going to include a set of rubber spacers, Just you just pull the ones that are already on your threaded post off and put those on, and then you screw down your screws uh, until you get metal on metal contact with the threaded posts, and then it's uh, pretty solid. The options for this bracket are uh, in the drop down menus, BLK 8.875 and then belt clip, and BLK 0.875 with bolt. The second version of the bracket is set up for holsters that are mounted with a molly lock, which has a hole spacing of three quarters of an inch or 0.75. This version is going to end up costing you a little bit more because it doesn't work with the hardware that is currently attached to your holster. So I have to include the hardware that will make it work. The threaded posts on the back of the holster are going to need to be pressed out and changed with the included ones that come with the bracket. Um, so if you need assistance or instructions in doing so, uh, please let me know. They are press fit in, so they might be tight, but they are able to come out and you should have enough space to press the ones in that you need, um, that you need to get in. The selections for this one are BLK 0.75 Molly M-O-L-L-E lock and BLK 0.875 with bolt. Uh, you guys are actually going to be able to use both mounting positions, um, the straight up and the 90 degree one, uh, with this bolt as well. So you'll be able to set up your holster so the opening either faces up or back. So that's one extra bit of um, that's one extra bit of adjustability that you get that the main uh, belt clip bracket people um, don't actually get. I may fix that or change that in the future because these. Uh, 
these clip versions. The belt clip version is not angle adjustable and I may modify the design in the future, but like I said, I need more equipment and I don't have any space for it at the moment. Interestingly enough, there's another product on the market that I don't make myself, but it does use a Molly Lock attachment clip. And that would be the knock-on holster that Ivory Holsters makes for them. Uh, so the bow bracket that takes the Molly Lock spacing, the .75s, will actually also work with this if you're looking for a way to... Uh, if you're looking for a way to mount your release onto your bow and you don't want to have your internals magnetized. There are also options in the drop-down menu for including a 5 16th by 24 by one and a quarter inch mounting bolt and washers if you do not use a stabilizer or anything else in the stabilizer bushing to secure the bracket. Most archers already have them so I don't include them with your bracket. Um, if you just select the bracket. Um, like I said, most guys already have them, and I'm trying to keep my costs down so I can keep my prices reasonable. The two versions, the belt clip .875 and the .75 are not interchangeable as the hole spacing is different. So uh, if one is in stock and the other one is not in stock, don't buy it unless you're planning on drilling the holes out yourself or making modifications. Uh, these brackets are made in small batches and will be released in small quantities. Um, so if there, are, it's not going to be like my other listings on Etsy where um, I have to keep the number high because it's a made-to-order item, and if it goes down to zero, it ends up listing itself as sold out, and then I have to renew the listing despite it being a made-to-order item. So the number on this listing, if it's you know there's nine, I think there's eight of them on there right now or eight available right now once it's sold out it's sold out till I make new ones so um so if it's listed as sold out I am working on them but I don't have them ready just yet also in the listing I used one of my two available drop down menus as a means to ensure everyone who is interested in this product has actually read the item description it's something that we as men tend to neglect to do and then when things don't show up the way we think they do we go back and look uh, or message the you know or end up sending messages that we ultimately didn't need to if we just read the instructions so i'm hoping um i'm hoping that little yes or no everybody answers it honestly um if you choose no that you've you basically willingly i've not read the item description um i do appreciate your honesty but i have it set up to add ten dollars to the price so please select yes and mean it please. If you have any questions, please contact me before you place your order so I can assist you in making the right selection. Any questions that arise from having not read the item description will be prefaced. My answer will be prefaced by my roasting you for not following directions, and then after that I'll work things out with you. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or message me on Etsy, and until next time, take care, stay safe, and happy hunting.